Revolution, revolution, revolution. We want to do something before we go. Revolution. <laughs> no, because you know, we we practically came peacefully with placards, banners, and leaflets, you know, to come to come mobilize and sensitize our people, the Nigerian people, on specific demands, particularly number one about free education at all levels. Our demand was that Nigeria should give its people free education at all levels. And that we should implement the 30,000 Naira minimum wage. It signed with the Nigerian workers. Our other demands was for, was for the fact that the government should end the insurgency, the killings, and the bloodletting going on in the country. Those were specific demands, three of them. In addition to the fact that the illegal abduction of Shuwere, that the government must immediately release him because Shuwere was not released. I, sorry, was not arrested. That, that was not an arrest. You came in at the wee period of the night, in the midnight. Like and a then, thief in the night. like a thief in the night, and you came to abduct someone who only, you know, displayed his uh, constitutional right to freedom of speech and expression. And you came at the dead of the night to abduct him. This is our demands. This is not right. We are in a democratic institution. But unfortunately, just for that, we were conf our, our placards and leaflet was confronted with guns and canisters, tear gas and pepper spray, as if we were in a war front. I've never seen the Nigerian military, the Nigerian force so organized. If they had been half that organized, they would have ended insurgency in Nigeria. They would have defeated Boko Haram, they would have defeated headsmen. But unfortunately, they are. Incessive level of organization was only targeted at stifling legitimate actions. And it's just like that at everywhere. So these are actually the conditions that, are, that led, to, uh, led to our arrest. I was bundled up like a criminal because I came to demonstrate to express myself. The Buhari government on that day, I think it's a tragedy in the Nigerian history. But we were carrying out a historical course and we are not deterred by anything at all. We came peacefully to demonstrate, but I was amazed by the number of policemen that were mobilized to that place. I was bundled up, beaten, you can see that my eye is, uh, has a dent there. And the police stole my phone. As I speak with you right now, you I do not have a phone. The same they stole Provision's phone too. And they stole Provision's phone as well. They stole two of our comments phones. Yeah, so as I speak with you now, the, some of the phones that were tendered, ours were not there. Who we'll catch them with so, that? That, that, that was how they, they, they brutalized us. They stole your phone. They yes. stole my phone. Yes. 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 I, 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 I speak with you right now. I don't it's have part of the police. It's my statement with the police, and I, I, I decided to commit it right there. So, the manner in which they bundled me up, if they had used same effort like uh, my comrade just said, you know, against the criminals in this country, we have criminals in our political um, terrain, in the judiciary, everywhere. Nobody does anything against them. But for a citizen who came out and said, no, I do not want this to be happening in my country. The Buhari government has just proven that it's this mass away from democracy. Now that you people are getting relief, you should now go and be careful now and take, take your time. <laughs> would, you, would you see my struggle continues? 
it doesn't end now. Revolution continues. It is now and it keeps going until they listen to us, until we achieve our aim. Uh, it depends on what they are referring to. Maybe calm down and recharge and then move forward from there. I don't know. It depends on what they are saying. <laughs> spirit, so, <laughs> yes, as long as injustice continues in this country, no, no there will be no time for this government to rest. It's a, it's a, that's a fact. They may as well come and kill us. After all, they, they almost killed us that day. Just by the grace of God, we are alive. So, okay. so, any government that makes tyranny a practice, then you expect that resistance is will become. In fact, it's in the video. But that's just, 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 just like Malcolm X made the said, it will make peaceful negotiation impossible, makes violent revolution inevitable. Okay, so if the government, if the government, we've always been calm. In fact, the government should even thank Nigeria. Nigeria has been extremely calm because I miss this kind of problem. You don't pay people salaries. Education, this education is whacked. You get Nigeria became the poverty capital of the world, and you say we are not calm. If so, if something like this happened uh, happened in other advanced countries, do you think that this kind of reaction we are going to be having? So we've always been calm. Maybe the right question should have been that: What are we going to do next after coming from prison? Because these are our demands are not yet adhered to. We said the government should give our people free education at all levels. Has the government done that? We, they, they, they said that the government should. We are, we are talking about government paying our workers the 30,000 naira minimum wage. It willfully signed with labor. Has it done that? We said that government should end insecurity in Nigeria. I'm quite sure probably if we are to go through the news, maybe someone, someone else has been killed. Even so, just a killing. Has it, has, it, has it been done? We are talking about police reform. For instance, in, uh, for instance, why, 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 why we are in court? We are engaged, some, we, we are engaged with some, some, some policemen who themselves, who probably had committed an offense related to maybe bribery and so on. And one of my engagements with them was that well, while some of us are against bribery going on in the police force, but we have to talk with the root of why are the police accepting bribe? You are not paying police officers well. He lied to them. You, get, you, to you are not paying police officers where you expect them not to pay, uh, not to collect by people you don't pay, and you expect them to discharge to to uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, the, to to minimum capacity. So as long as this kind of injustice continues, then they should they should continue to expect continued resistance, not for most necessarily, but for mass of Nigerians who are hungry, who are hungry, and for us. It is revolution continues. So are you regretting participating in that revolutionary protest action? No. Nope. So would you be uh, returning with other comrades to continue protest, uh, yes. to continue to press on your demands? My dad used to say something. He said the truth, no matter whose mouth it comes from, is sacred and should be revered. That is, even though the madman, the madman passing here just speaks the truth. Just like, oh, what these guys say, and um, it's right, right. You just revere it, not because of who it's coming from. You understand? But as far as but the message is, it's, it's, it's the truth. Well. You understand? So if I see something happening, I owe the obligation to be there and to speak my mind to join with them. <laughs> Revolution! Yeah. When you talk about our next plan, our next plan will be hinged on whether President Buhari has repented or not. There is a something position that we made. We raised a five-point demand. And that if those demands are not met with immediate effect, Nigerians should take up a revolution. We didn't call that we will do the revolution, no. What we are saying is that enough is enough. And we are not receding on the revolution because we know that that's the only way out. And Buhari has justified our position. A sensible ruler would look at these people are talking of revolution. For him, it's treason. That's his own language, Abi. At the five point demands treason, is free, functional, and quality education at all level treason? Is ending corruption treason? Is ending insecurity treason? Is returning wealth, redistribution of wealth, and changing Nigeria from becoming the poverty capital of Nigeria? Is that treason? If all those demands are treason, Buhari should jail all Nigerians. Exactly. 